well, yeah, I guess I am British. <laughs> but I'm also American by choice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's more applause than I got. Plank figure. Uh, thank you. How many of you have uh, been to uh, London? Well, look at this thing. Were you on the same boat or what? Uh, have you, uh, when you were over there, did you ever go to um, a market called Portobello Market? Yes. You did? Did you, did you buy it? I mean, buy anything? <laughs> well, first of all, the Portobello Market's about two miles long. Um, I walked it once when I was about 14, and uh, I, I got through it when I was about 48. Um, but the Portobello Market, one year, a friend of mine brought me, uh, bought me a, a decanter in which I am prone to keep Madeira wine, uh, a wine of which I'm particularly fond, not, not to excess, of course, uh, rather than just get totally looped. But um, this uh, reminded me of a little song. But we have to put the, we have to get into character, as we say. So the first thing is, there is, anybody ever remember a smoking jacket? You remember the smoking jacket? Well, yeah, I always wanted to have one of those velvet ones, you know, with the shawl collars? But unfortunately, Goodwill didn't have any, so I ended up with them. Uh, uh, but we have to, we have to uh, sort of get into character, this, this, uh, because this song is actually, uh, what you might call a dirty old man song. And as my wife says, who arrived tonight and is in the room, she says it's absolutely no stretch whatsoever. Um, but one has to have the right fall. <laughs> Nice. She was fair, she was sweet seventeen. He was old, he was vile, no stranger device. He was best, he was bad, he was mean. He'd slyly inveigled her up to his flat to view his collection of stamps. And he said as he hastily put out the cat, the wine, the cigar, and the lamps. As a Madeira, Madeira, you really have nothing to fear. I'm not trying to tempt you, that wouldn't be right. What shouldn't drink spirits at this time of night? Have some Madeira, Madeira, it's really much better than beer. One cannot drink sherry, one shouldn't drink stout. And port is a wine I could well do without. It's simply a case of shaka a song gout. Have some Madeira, Madeira. Unaware of the wiles of the snake in the grass and the paint of the maiden who toasts, she lowered her standards by raising her glass, her courage, her eyes, and his hopes. She sipped it, she drained it, she drank it, she did. He quietly refilled it again. And he said as he secretly carved one more notch on the butt of his gold handled cane. Add some Madeira, Madeira. I've got a small cask of it here. And once it's been opened, you know it won't keep. So finish it up, it'll help you to sleep. Have some Madeira, Madeira. It's really an excellent year. Now, if it were gin, you'd be wrong to say yes. But the evil gin does is hard to assess. Besides, it's inclined to affect my prowess. <laughs> Have some Madeira, Madeira. Then there flashed through her mind what her mother had said, with her aunt in penultimate breath. Oh, my child, when you look on the wine when to spread, be prepared for a fate worse than death. She let go her glass with a shrill little cry. Crashed in when it fell to the floor. When he said, What's the matter? She made no reply, up her mind and a dash for the door. Have some Madeira, Madeira, rang out down the hall loud and clear. A tremulous cry that was filled with despair as she paused to take breath in the cool midnight air. Have some Madeira, Madeira, the words seemed to ring in her ear. Until the next morning, she woke up in bed. 
with a smile on her lips and an ache in her head, and a moustache in her ear that tickled and said, I'll suck a beer on a beer. <laughs>